Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. You guys suggested that I continue doing this series when I first made the first video about uh, overpowered, amazing map positions. I, I showed one game on Highway, which is the map we're looking at today. And you guys said, why don't you do this for all the maps? And here we are like a month later, and we've done almost all the maps. But we're back on Highway, and I'm going to show you this couple of games from both sides. Look at this, a Tier 8 Walker Bulldog without the amazing equipment. He's got uh, um, commander's vision system, vents and optics, no directive, all right? He's a tier eight in a tier 10 game. And we're gonna review the highway map again. This was the first video I did. And I showed you a game from this spawn. And now I've, I, I didn't do it thoroughly when I did the first video until you guys suggested, hey, why don't you do this for all the maps? And now I'm showing you games from both sides, both spawns. So I decided to redo this uh, a video on this map just for completeness and look at the statistics. I'm taking it a lot more seriously now and I uh, sorted the games on top damage assist and observed quickly uh, like the top 20, 30 games. And from this southwest spawn, this is consistently the highest, most overpowered, high percentage play you can make in either a medium tank or a light tank or any tank with good view range. And the Walker Bulldog has fantastic view range. Not that great concealment, but he's parked himself into this bush. And this row of bushes right here is consistently where the best uh, spotting assist results occur from the southwest spot. Just consistently. You can go down to the low ground there. There's some aggressive uh, players that'll say, you know, got to go down to this bush or knock that tree down or way over here. But consistently... Uh, that doesn't result in the, in the best game. And look at the uh, the enemy Hawk 12. A little light tank who was trying to go for one of those bushes there. Now I don't know what he's doing. He's actively spotting down there. He probably doesn't know that he's permalit. And he's going to achieve almost nothing and die. And that's exactly what you shouldn't do. Is head right down there to the river initially. Because it's not a high percentage play. It might work if you get in a bush and the enemies ignore you, but as soon as you're detected down there, where you see the hog there, this guy, he's dead. There's nowhere to run except underneath the bridge here, and then everyone knows you're there. But where this walker bulldog went is just a beautiful position because if you do get detected, maybe by a wheeled vehicle or someone that YOLOs you or you make a mistake, you poke out of the bushes, you can uh, hide behind. There's cover. And there's an escape route. So this is beautiful. This is a perfect game. We're going to just watch this game. It's not long. And then I'm going to show you a game from the other spawn. Because we didn't do that when I first did uh, uh, the first video in this series. So I'm going to delete that from the playlist. And I'm going to add this to the playlist. This is going to be more thorough. You're going to see just an absolutely incredible game from the other spawn. Now statistically... When I look at all the results, they, well, not all of them, but the top 20, 30 results, um, most of the best uh, assistance damage games are from this spawn, the southwest spawn. Oh, like three quarters of them. The other side is at a disadvantage for uh, detection. And this map, um, detection is very important uh, you, you, to the win rate of this map. Uh, Getting the initial spots and doing damage assist on, is very important on this map because it's a big wide open map with lots of lines of, of uh, sight. You can shoot a long ways. There's only one choke point and that's in the southeast corner where all the heavy tanks going. His team happened to win the city. Do you notice that? Uh, right down here. The city is where the heavy tanks usually go to fight. And uh, from this spawn th that we're watching right now, when the team from the other spawn moves aggressively in the field in that north A, B, C line when they cross, like these guys did, you can have these monster assistance damage games. So from the other spawn, the higher percentage play is to go to the city side of the map. Crossing here, it does, you know, you're going to have people disagreeing in the comments. But remember, this isn't about how you should play the game. And look at that, he spotted one of these guys, an A, a phase one, wallowing in the, in the water there. This isn't about how you have to play the game. This is just the high percent. I'm telling you the high percentage plays here. And 
Of course, there's going to be some people in the comment section that say, well, I play and I rush over here and I get hauled down up here. And if you're a good player, you can kill all those guys. And yeah, of course, of course. Uh, but if there's a really good scout that does what this Walker Bulldog did and the, the end, and the team shoot what he spots, yeah, I don't care if you're a Unicom or, or you know, superstar of America or whatever, you, you're going to die because this what this Walker Bulldog did neutralizes uh, the drive neutralizes this enemy team from what they did which is cross uh, the river on the, the ABC line snipers and, and uh, people will shoot you this guy spotted everyone and this is the high percentage play it doesn't always work because sometimes the enemy team will go um, en masse to the city and so this Walker Bulldog will do what he did and not really spot anyone. You know, so it's, like I said, it's not, uh, uh, this is not the pompous douchebag commentary say, well, this is obviously, you have to go to the bush at uh, E3 and from there flex to the bush at uh, D1. You know, it, you ha it's dynamic, right? It's not always gonna work. <clears throat> but this is the high percentage play that will basically neutralize the enemy team from rushing across that north east west line victory and how do you like that a tier 8 tank gets a patrol duty and scout in a tier 10 game does a little damage for himself and comes out of it with a 9660 damage assist that was a hell of a game okay let's watch this game from the opposite spawn and contrast this now we have a manticore fully equipped you know commander's vision system optics vents uh, optics directive and I'm gonna point out the minimap now okay he's on the opposite spawn that Walker Bulldog went down here to this line of bushes at E3 and basically detected everyone that was crossing the field here okay including the scout that went down into this river area and tried to get into one of these bushes so this manticore here I think understands the dynamics of this map and he's spawning on the other side what's the best play from the other side watch this this is he's gonna take it to the extreme okay watch where he goes he heads south. Why is he heading south? Because a lot of uh, um, enemies tend to go, look at the minimap again, across here to the, um, uh, to the um, city. He's also platooned with two other players, two uh, FV4005s, which could do 1750 damage per shot. Now this guy is gonna head to, to this bush line, and any one of these bushes is actually uh, pretty good to stop and spot, but this guy's gonna push to the extreme because he noticed that the Sheridan on the other team is not even playing or something's, he's not even, he's blanked out. I don't know why he's not there, but he, he pushes it right to this bush here. And I think he was observant. The enemy Sheridan, which is the uh, uh, the light tank that the enemy's got, is not even playing the game. I'm just looking at the, anyways. <laughs> So he realized, hey, I'm the only, you know, there's no one else as fast as me. There's no one with the concealment of me. So he moves to this spot. When you see a light tank moving aggressively to this bush line here, look where the two FV stopped and where the grille stopped. All of these guys, I'm going to point at the minimap here. All, all this high, let me point at the minimap. All this high ground right here, you can shoot across and hit those guys. If they, their turrets pop up above the tree topography there's some low areas and topography there you go one shot there for 1,000 <laughs> when they cross some of these guys oh and there's an AMX he's got to get himself in the bush and he's got to have you got to have very good concealment that AMX 50B who that's just a daddy the AMX 50B just exploded we're learning something this is the extreme play but uh, moving at, on this uh, eight line results in some pretty amazing damage assist games uh, from the north spawn. You notice nobody even bothered to go across the ABC line. There's also positions here by the houses where the STB1, look at the minimap, the STB1 is that an, as an aggressive uh, medium tank, you can get to uh, behind this house here or in these bushes if you're fast, maybe that uh, Polish, medium tank and get those heavy tanks before they even make it into the city now this guy's gonna uh, go around and go to more amazing bushes that are gonna assist 
uh, spotting the guys from the north. Or spotting the guys that are, uh, look at the mini-map in this area here. <coughs> Excuse me. And what am I going to try and say here? Yeah, the other thing we learned. <coughs> look, he's got his two FVs ready to shoot. They're in the bushes. He's come across. On this map, the river, the low ground, is death. Okay? So if you're playing a, a medium tank or a heavy tank, like that AMX 50B, and in the previous game, that little Hawk 15 or whatever, rushing down to this river, look at the minimap, anywhere along here and hanging out in the low ground there <coughs> is death. Because once you're, once you're spotted, there's high ground on either side. It doesn't matter what side you spawned on. There's high ground on either side, snipers that are going to shoot down at you. So these players that rush down there to the river, uh, or if you're, if you're playing a light tank and your teammates say, you know, they're pinging the map, go spot, go spot. And they, they want you to go down to some of these, I'm pointing out the mini map again, guys. Uh, some of these bushes here or, or here, they're all useless, okay? You may have one out of a thousand games where you go down there and spot someone or, or maybe it's near the end of the game and there's only two or three tanks to worry about and yeah, you want to go down there and spot them, fine, okay? But it's not a high percentage play at the beginning of the game. Uh, this Manticore did the high percentage play from the Northwest spawn and then he flexed and went across. Uh, he counted the dots. He knew that most of the enemies went towards the city so he wasn't too worried about a lot of enemies being in that northwest corner so he cut across the map here and uh, so he got amazing initial OP powerful spotting position and now he's following up <laughs> with a little damage for himself and everyone he spots here is going to be shot by his teammates everyone he spots the, the last known kind of hiding in the bushes position he's a manticore so he missed but the shells are going to rain down on me now Rain in down, and the Manticore exploded. But he had all those, all the enemies are rushing to the, the corner of the map to hide like the pussies they are. And there you get, he gets assist, 490 damage assist, because he did the last spotting of that artillery. And that's it, easy game, right? Uh, it's a bad play from this spawn to just rush across. It, well, it's not a bad play. Sometimes it works. Okay, I gotta. See, I'm using the wrong word. It's not the high percentage play, in what I've seen, looking at uh, a statistical distribution of the games. Okay, it just doesn't bear out in the statistics. So there you go. He he doesn't even ace the tank, even though he did uh, fourteen thousand two hundred and forty spotting assists. Just an amazing game. So from this spawn, statistically speaking, the the best damage assist games are people that rush in the, the area of where this manticore went. You can experiment with bushes there. You can also take medium tanks there and get up against the houses and spot the slow heavies that are heading towards the city, especially if there's three SPGs per side. You can get quite a, a bit, a lot of initial uh, spotting assist or damage assist by doing that. And then you can flex back and go across, okay? Look how many people he did the initial spot on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He did. He, he spotted eleven out of the fifteen uh, uh, enemies. So, anyways, I think that's a more thorough examination of the highway map. And we're just about done with the uh, with this series. Subscribe to the channel if you've uh, enjoyed this series, and if you've. If you don't play light tanks or, or stealthy medium tanks, maybe you've learned which bushes to blind shoot. For example, where that uh, Walker Bulldog went in the first game, that row of bushes, uh, rather than rush across uh, the river initially, uh, maybe if you get detected early, is to pull back out of range and blind, the, blind shoot the hell out of that line of bushes where that Walker Bulldog was. Or if you're an SPG, Maybe loop a couple of shells in there if you don't have a target. Might really help your team. Anyways, guys, I will catch you on the next one.